What is happening, y'all? Mr. Koopa here, and welcome to another setup tutorial, this time for Resident Evil 2 1998 for the Seamless HD Classic Rebirth setup. So, this has been a pain in the rear because there are some issues with this game, but you know what? For brevity, let's just get right into it. Once again, we're going to be using the, well, this time it's going to be the Source Next version. Media Kite was for Resident Evil 1, Source Next is Resident Evil 2 and 3. Again, I will pin a download link into the comment because I can't put it in the actual description, but we have it right here as Biohazard 2 Source Next. Uh, so, first things first, we're gonna create our file. This is gonna be our directory. I already have a Resident Evil 2 here, so it's gonna be Resident Evil 2 test, whatever. But you can name it whatever you want. And we're gonna go ahead and extract all these files and I'm gonna tell you what they are. So that is our classic rebirth patch this this is going to be the 1.0 or no 1.10 whatever you know what i mean i'm going to make these icons big like i did last time oh not smaller no large there we go get rid of that so biohazard 2 all right there we go next up is this this is the high quality music so yeah High quality music and sound, kind of a big deal. Now, one of these won't extract the old fashioned way, and that is gonna be the issue that a lot of you are gonna run into. I'm gonna show you how to get around it. That's high quality. Pretty sure it's not this one, but we'll find out. Cause one of these is gonna have some WebP files that will not extract if you use the Windows extractor. And it doesn't appear to be this one. So it's the actual seamless HD project download. Got it. I'll organize all this in just a moment. This is a big file, so it takes a few moments. This is the actual resources for everything that we're going to be installing. There we go. Move you up here. High quality music goes last. And the seamless HD project. So this. This is going to be the hangup a lot of you are going to have. If you go to extract this file, the RE2 SHDP 2.0 update for Team X, if you hit extract, it's going to fail. It's going to say this right here. It's going to say that these WebP files cannot be extracted. Essentially, if you still try to power through it and use it, the resources aren't going to be there, so it won't load them. It'll just load the old ones. So we're going to cancel. We're going to get rid of this one. So the workaround I found, I tried 7-Zip, and 7-Zip also did not work. But instead, I tried WinRAR. I did a free trial for it, you know, didn't pay anything, didn't have to sign up with a credit card. I just downloaded it, extracted with WinRAR. It opens up like this, extract to, and I sent it to my downloads file, which where everything else is. And it actually extracted the WebP. You can see it extracting it right now. And it's done. And it kicks it down here as a hires folder, but you know, whatever. Now, that is all of the downloads we're gonna be putting into this base right here. So the next step is to right click your source next copy and mount it. This will open up the file directory. After a time. The only thing you need in all of this is everything inside data. You just drag and drop it. Give it a second while it finishes. A long second, it seems. Bang. Okay. Next, I'm going to eject the disk. We no longer need it. Go back to our downloads. I can get rid of this. We don't need that either. So, now we're ready to get crack a lacking. We have everything right here. That is just the guts of the base game. You could put the Rebirth patch and play it like this if you wanted to, if you didn't care about Seamless HD, but since you do care about Seamless HD, our first downloads are going, or our first mods, or mod files is gonna be the 1.1 patch for Source Next and the Rebirth patch, both of which can be found right here on this website. It's, we're gonna have the link in the description. It's gonna be Classic Rebirth DLL is the Rebirth patch. 
an official 1.1 patch by Source Next for the executable. Also, note right here, high quality sound by Lexus 87. We're going to be installing that. That is also on this page. So get rid of that. We don't need it anymore. So quite simple. 1.1 patch, drag drop. It does not copy over the old one, so just delete it. So we're done with that. Bye. D draw. This is the rebirth patch. Drag drop. You're done. Now, this is the Team X mod. These are all the resources that the Seamless HD mod is going to load. Drag drop. And replace. Next, the hires folder. This right here, you can just drop it. This one takes a minute. Don't know why, it just does. Now I'm doing this sequentially to make sure we don't mess up any of the files. And yes, I almost dropped an F-bomb. But once this one goes, the last one remaining is the high quality sound, which as you can see, it has a lot, but you're only looking at these three up here, common, PL0, and PL1. So once this is complete, we're gonna drag and drop those three files, and we're gonna get into the INI setup, because there is a very important thing that can mess you up on the INI setup that I discovered when I was making this tutorial. Drag and drop this. That's our high quality sound. Replace. And it's done. Get rid of this. That is all the mods. We are fully installed. We're going to launch our INI file, which is the Bio2 1.1. That's the executable. It's going to pop the INI setup. It, this does happen. It protected my PC, but I hit more info and I said run it anyways. No INI configuration. We're creating one now. Now, here we are. First thing I do, I full screen it. Cause it's beautiful full screen. And I turn on texture filtering, but you don't have to. Sound on high quality, for whatever reason, it's defaulted to be off. Enable sound. Everything else, disable censorship, auto aim, all this is just whatever, if you want to. I already had the controller installed. Let me turn off the music cause we're gonna launch the game and I'm gonna show you what to look for. This is the updated title screen. If you get this, you know you're good. Resident Evil 2. I just want to get to the main game. Let's go skip cutscenes so I can show it off. And look at this. Look at all these new resources. Also, door skip is enabled. Freeze. Doesn't look good. Who are you? What are you doing here? Hold your fire. I'm a human. Oh, Leon. All right, we're going to close it out. Anyway, that is the full setup for this mod. If you follow those steps exactly, remember, WinRAR for that specific file. If you wind up extracting the file with the file extracted, it's built into Windows, and it says the web piece cannot be extracted, Download WinRAR and use it. Move the files I told you to move. Now, this is an extra note. If you're a speedrunner, you cannot run or make a run with these mods installed. You have to use the base game. Another note for those of you that bought this on GOG, there is a uh, download. It's called the Source Next Conversion Patch. I need to actually find it right quick. Give me one second. RE2 Source Next. Conversion. And here it is, Nexus Mods. I'm going to put this in the description as well. Uh, just so that you guys can convert your GOG version into Source Next, because you have to do this. Every other step works, but this is just an additional step for you GOG boys out there. Anyway, that's going to be it for now. I am still in the middle of recording content for this game. I still need to do Leon A and Claire B, but once it's done, 
I'm going to get onto Resident Evil 3, do another setup tutorial for that game, as well as a full gameplay playthrough of the Seamless HD for RE3. But, as always, if you guys, if this helped you guys out or you have any questions, hit me up in the comments, leave a like, sub to my channel. I, it really helps. We're trying to push 200 at the moment. I know, small boy dreams, but I have a full-time day job. But, if there isn't anything else, until then, I'm going to see you guys next time.